able to make up new make-believe scenarios about why Bitcoin is going to $300. The reality is that the bears have miscalculated extremely poorly and may be about to suffer the largest reach around pump of their entire lives. Right now, the price of Bitcoin is on a little itsy bitsy uptrend with the DXY also continuing to get dumped on here. The stock market, honestly, not looking great. Also, though, kind of at a potentially good area. But the point is, it almost doesn't matter because Bitcoin has been absolutely ripping and dipping big time for the last seven days, ever since we got a seemingly bearish uh, fake headline, right? Because if we really think about this, Bitcoin price pumped a couple thousand dollars in about 15 minutes when we got that news about a fake Bitcoin, ET, uh, Bitcoin ETF approval. And you would think getting the confirmation that it was fake would absolutely dump the price. However, why is Bitcoin pumping right now? Well, if we take a look at a few things, let's look actually at what we just saw over the past hour. Uh, SEC Commissioner Hester Peirce talking about a Bitcoin ETF and how it should have been approved five years ago. She's saying the logic for why we haven't approved a Bitcoin spot ETF has always mystified me. And, wow, beautiful. Uh, but this sentiment is also echoed in other humans at the SEC and many other people um, as well that have direct influence and um, their opinion matters on a Bitcoin spot ETF. Literally, like everyone knows, it's basically just Gary G big Gary G at the SEC standing in the way. And um, there's a lot of evidence that, that uh, you know, that's not going to be happening for much longer. Uh, so I want to talk, I want to look at the charts here also because Bitcoin, altcoins have also over the past 24 hours had some nice movement as well. And overall, I think this is one of the most energizing, this is probably the most energized I've gotten from these charts in a long time. And there's a huge fundamental reason for that. The most obvious being we're above 30,000 US dollars for the first time in, uh, you know, months. But something even bigger is happening here. So uh, we've seen this over the past week. However, we also see now Morgan Stanley coming out and saying crypto, uh, the crypto bear market, crypto bear market is basically over. Here comes uh, crypto spring. So they talk about the obviousness of the having and how it affects supply. Um, four phases, the summer, fall, winter, and spring, and them, them kind of reiterating, they believe the spring is here. It says here, just as a farmer avoids planting seedlings in the winter or too late in spring, they crypto investors want to know when crypto spring has arrived to maximize their investment. And we have seen complete uh, death of the crypto space, right? Nobody wants to touch it. Nobody wants to talk about it. Nobody new is joining, right? You know, there's a, there's a handful of people here and there. It's not literally every person on the planet. Um, it's the very uh, opportunistic, uh, I would say, smart people that have gotten interested over the last year. But for the most part, nobody cares. And the thing with crypto, and I've seen this happen time and time again, the thing with crypto is it can go from being completely dead to everybody on the planet talking about it in a very short amount of time. Now, we're not anywhere close to any, everybody on the planet talking about it just yet. And again, I've been saying this, many people have been saying this, the window for that maximizing your opportunity to invest in crypto uh, and, and make the most returns and, and benefit the most, that window has gotten shorter because time has gone on. But I also think that window has gotten shorter because we've seen developments in the space like the SEC losing their lawsuits, like um, just the fundamental bullishness from institutions themselves at, around Bitcoin and crypto that I think that window is even shorter than it was maybe about a month ago. Meaning, you know, a month ago, maybe the window was six months. Now, maybe the window is only like two months. Uh, again, those are just rough, uh, like a rough idea of maybe how drastically that window can close in a short amount of time. But I think that's realistic. And that's the thing with crypto too, is it goes from being completely dead to completely alive, completely swarmed with people like begging you know, what do I buy? What do I do? How do I get in? All that. It, it goes like this. And it's based on emotion. Um, we have seen two depressing years of price action. And it's very quickly coming to an end, in my opinion. And apparently the opinion of a lot of uh, very wealthy people as well. Now, all of that being said as well, 
uh, over about $50 billion exit Bank of America, Morgan Stanley, and BNY Mellon in three months as deposit flight refuses to relent. Three U.S. financial titan titans witnessing uh, nearly $50 billion in deposits in a single quarter. They witnessed the flight of $50 billion, meaning it left. According to Bank of America's most recent quarterly earnings press release, the lender's average deposits fell from about a trillion to $980 billion in just three months, a reduction of about $30 billion. And we're seeing the same thing with BMY Mellon, Morgan Stanley. Uh, people are potentially looking for other assets or places to store their wealth. As Larry Fink said just last week, is there a flight to safety? And what he said was one of the largest flight to safety options was Bitcoin, right? Uh, gold, Bitcoin. And as we're actually, let's actually jump into the charts now because as of today, so far, this is the highest Bitcoin has been as of today. By the time I upload the video, who knows what the price will be. But we see, this is what the, one of the main things I like to see is the DXY setting a lower high, which DXY perma bulls are going to deny and be very upset about. But after going on a nice rally for the past uh, like three months, guys, things do not go up forever. And the DXY is potentially signaling that, yeah, I mean, DXY is not going to go up forever. The SPX, huge, is still testing a very big level of support around 4,200. Um, if we go to this chart, right also where it's 200 week moving averages, or sorry, 200 day moving average, it's trying to get there. Doesn't look great, but it could bounce here. The whole, the whole thing though is that Bitcoin seemingly so far doesn't care. We're seeing over the past week, little itsy bitsy signs of further decoupling. And decoupling can only occur can only occur if we get like institutional interest, we get massive percentages of, of uh, assets allocated to Bitcoin. You need like a big impact for that to be even realistic. And I guess the question is, are we seeing that right now? Are we seeing the initial stages of that right now? We also have the 21 day crossing above the 50 day moving average, which is a bullish cross. Very first time we have seen this, okay? This is actually pretty significant. First time we have seen this since January of 2023. And what happened after January 2023? Well, Bitcoin was around 22,000 when we got that cross and it ran up to about 30,000 over the following weeks and months. Um, so that is significant. Even the biggest cross really though is the, if we look here, uh, 50 going back above the 200 day. Uh, which we're seeing Bitcoin right now, the 21 go above the 200 day, but the 50 is even more significant. Last time we saw that as well was back in uh, very, very early 2023, the very first couple of weeks of 2023. So obviously there's some short-term momentum for Bitcoin. Obviously this is backed by not just the fact Bitcoin has been depressed in price and been basically, you know, horrible price action for the past month. It's also because there's a fundamental reason. There's fundamental interest uh, everything is aligning. And that's why I've been warning for months and months and months, the closer we get to the having, the less and less the chance of these crazy 10 K five K per Bitcoin dump possibilities become. So if you rewind to February, March, April, the chances of Bitcoin having the ability to go to 10 K were so much higher than they are now. Um, if you still think Bitcoin's going to 10 K and lower now, you really, 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 really have to hope just the worst possible news on the planet. Or, uh, you need everything betting against Bitcoin at this point for that to even be semi possible. It's so, so unlikely at this point, if you're trading, if you're investing, everything is a game of probabilities, right? Nothing's ever guaranteed and nothing's ever, um, you know, you can't ever expect something to 100% happen. But if you're looking at the game of probabilities now, the chance of us getting to a 10K Bitcoin is so, so, so much lower than it was um, even a month ago. Every month that goes by, it becomes less and less likely. It's, it's just, it's hard to not look at this and become extremely bullish. Uh, it's very reminiscent. I remember it's very similar, I believe, back to this area of the last bear to bull market. It's exactly the same climate that I experienced back here. And uh, it's, it's, it's a very exciting time. Um, now, are we still gonna have dumps? Yes. Could we still go below 30K? Absolutely. 
Um, that doesn't mean we're going straight up, but all I'm saying is there's a lot of stuff lining up and showing us the momentum is is very clearly in one direction at this point. Really, if you if you look at this in a non-biased way, the entirety of 2023 has been more bullish than it's been bearish. It's been a lot of sideways, but the price action has done one thing. It's, it's slowly been creeping up, right? It, it's every time it has a chance to where it gets down to this level and it could have a major breakdown, it hasn't done that. So if you're still looking at these charts and you're just struggling to find the most doomsday bearish possibility that you can imagine, um, you're just extremely biased. There's no way to look at these charts and be extremely bearish without having your emotion dictate and, and direct you. So really, again, if you look at this just as a person who wants to look at the facts and not live in a delusional reality, Bitcoin looks way more bullish right now than it does bearish. Now, that's the thing with, with everything, though. There's times to be bullish, times to be bearish. And right now, it looks to be a very, very good opportunity to get in for, for bullish constructive price action for Bitcoin. There will be time in the future where things will be more dumpy. But I ask you, like looking at this chart, do you think after this, you can expect and guarantee we're just going to have more of that? Because I kid you not, there are literally people that I see posting content that basically say this is what's going to happen. And I just have to think like how far up you, your own butt or like someone else's butt you have to be to think that's to think that makes any sense. You have to be completely delusional. Um, now, as I just said, nothing's impossible, right? I could sprout wings right now, start floating around like Peter Pan, but it's probably not going to happen. I'm probably not going to start flying around right now. Even though it's not impossible, uh, I'm probably not going to start uh, being Peter Pan. <laughs> but I, I think it's about, I think Bitcoin going... Uh, well, you know what? I'm not even going to say that because what's the point? Um, but yeah, absolutely gigantic for Bitcoin. This is very exciting as Bitcoin, really the narrative I've seen for, for years is that, you know, for Bitcoin to truly succeed, it needs decoupling. I don't think we're there just yet, but what if we are seeing the very first signs of it, the very first continued attempts at Bitcoin decoupling? Uh, this is the type of environment you would expect for that to be realistic. And take advantage of massive trading and deposit bonuses if you're interested in trading with Femex and BitGet Below. Specifically, if you use my link, sign up, it takes 30 seconds to Femex Below. You get massive sign up, deposit bonuses, and earn free XPT when you trade anything. And without any further ado,